Well, hello and welcome. Now, this is Nate. And boy, if y'all like the loft, which was a three-bedroom, two-bath home, y'all are going to love this one if you're looking for a one-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath. Unlike the loft, <laughs> this one gives you a really large front porch. Of course, now I don't know. I haven't got a chance to look at the floor plan. But I think he said that this one you can get <clears throat> without the front porch and get a second bedroom. And then becoming a two-bedroom, two-bath home. But as this one sits, the way we're looking at it, it is a one-bedroom one and a half bath ultra modern luxurious obviously single wide <laughs> but you have a big living room area and a big bedroom unlike a lot of one bedroom homes this one gives you a nice large bedroom we are at inner mountain homes here in kalispell montana and now we got to get out of this road noise <laughs> we are like literally this home is like 20 feet off the highway. <laughs> but I suppose I should probably show you the porch. Hey, told you we're like literally 20 feet off the highway. Okay, I know I exaggerated. We're a little further than that, but. <laughs> Might as well be right on the highway, right? As I stated, we are at Inner Mountain Homes. All right, let's head in. So the first thing to notice, we got no carpet in the home. It's this uh, flooring all the way through. Now these are all individual tiles. So if one gets damaged, you can actually pull it up and put a new one down without having to tear up the whole floor. Now as we come around to this side of the living room, let's just take a moment and appreciate all these windows. Now think about this, you're sitting right here in this couch on your property, looking out into the woods, you know, without that highway there, that's almost a pretty good view already, right? Of course, you know, you've got space in between the windows right there for your TV if you actually wanted to put a TV in here. Of course, who doesn't want to put a TV in their home, right? Got a nice size center island for the size of the home. We've got drawers above all our doors. So I didn't get to do a walkthrough with the gentleman that runs the lot. He had a couple customers when I showed up. This was planned, but <laughs> any, you know, being a one man operation, if you got customers, obviously you got to take care of them. So he just kind of turned me loose without getting to do any walkthroughs. I believe this one is actually made by Bonavilla, not by Palm Harbor, like the loft is. Just judging by the cabinets that I've seen, and the previous Bonavilla homes that I've filmed in the fact that we've got drawers above all our doors tells me it's probably a different manufacturer. We have our pantry. Whirlpool stainless steel appliance package.
And yes, it is a single wide, but you have your own water heater closet. So when we have an actual utility room and a furnace closet, So, I mean, this is stuff that you don't usually get in single wides. I mean, look at the size of this room. And here's your half bath. Hello, Raiden. And I didn't give you a good look at the area, right? <laughs> so we have the square sink. Y'all are probably noticing it is the pocket doors. So you got pocket doors here. We have a pocket door on the primary bathroom also. Your linen cabinet or storage cabinet seems how you know, you could easily put your linens in the regular closet. So now as we come to the end of the home, this is the only bedroom you're going to have. Unless, of course, you opt for the two-bedroom home. So there is our water, or er, so there's our toilet, our shower with the tile shower. You have a bench in your shower. It looks really good. Then these square sinks on the back side. So we've got the porcelain backsplash. And you're probably like, I thought you said there was a pocket door in the bathroom and I see a regular door. Well, that pocket door is part of the closet. Now, I remember last time I was here, that was in the one that uh, Palm Harbor calls the loft, but when he had it on the lot, which I showed you, he had it called the Montana, which was the very first home I ever filmed was also the very first home ever on the channel. So if you want to see how far I've come, <laughs> go back and look at that one. I didn't even have my gimbal then. I was holding the camera by hand. Yeah, it, it's, I was glad to find the loft and be able to redo that one. But what else I would be glad for is if you could go down to the comment section and let me know what you think of this home. One bedroom, one and a half bath, super luxurious. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notification bells, and I will be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, the canyon. What did you think? Now, this is a Bonavilla home, so we're going to get some price information here in just a minute. I'm going to tell you, it's a Bonavilla. It travels a long ways, comes from Wisconsin to Montana. Long travel. <laughs> so that's going to add a lot to the price of the home. Now, if you lived closer to Wisconsin, where these homes are made, you could get them a lot cheaper, trust me. <laughs> they are very nice homes, but for us to get Bonavillas here in Montana, it's a long travel. You know, now I don't know how far Colorado is, if it's closer or if it's further, but you can get these in Colorado also. Further you are away, the higher the cost of the home. So one thing I really like about this, you know, it reminds me of the loft. I like the kind of modern look of the homes. 
The loft, as I said, was the very first one I filmed. Of course, in this case, it was called the Montana. You know, you should go back and check it out. I mean, I'm seriously, I, <laughs> I almost pulled it down. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> Kidding. It's not, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so the canyon, though. This one is 1,060 square foot, roughly speaking, based on or the information I was able to get from John and what the floor plan says. So this has the 10-foot porch on it. So if you get the 6-foot porch instead of the 10-foot porch, and you get the kitchen is a little bit smaller, you can get this as the two-bedroom, um, two-bath two full bathrooms. Now the bathroom is laid out a little bit differently obviously than that half bath. If I was living by myself, this is all I would need, honestly. Okay, I know, jibber jabbering, trying to talk this one up a little bit, right? But we gotta get some price information. As I said, it's got a lot of travel in it. So this is why, you know, at roughly $12 a mile, I think is what I, one of the guys there at the uh, Biloxi Home Show told me is roughly how much they figure in for freight. So, you know, at $12 a mile and however many miles it had to go, it's a lot. So price on this one is somewhere between 140 to $160,000. I know. <laughs> I tried to warn you, but it is Bonavilla. And let me tell you, the quality in these homes, bar none, one of the best out there. But bar none, you should be watching one of these two videos over here. That way you can help support the channel and I can find more of these really nice homes for you. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.